you look at Conte compared to most, we talk about managers having impact on the team. He is so animated, so passionate on the yeah. sideline. Very rarely is, is he in his manager's box. He is up and down. He, he must do about 10k on the sideline. Oh, no. it, it's incredible. And it rubs off onto his team. And even at the end, the, when, when he embraces his players, it looks like it hurts. He's that happy and like yeah. the desire and passion he shows. And yeah. it's, it's brilliant like, to see he, a Spurs manager he played, like that. He played like that, Darren. Yeah. Did he, t- yeah. he was a player that was just incredibly tenacious. It was never stopped. He always talked, and I said it earlier to Jamie on here, that he talks about the great players and the technical players, that how he could make them better by mm. the type of player he was. Mm-hmm. That done a lot of the ugly stuff. Mm. was very simple. There was nothing complicated about Antonio Conte's mm. game. Is what, he, do you, what do you think they need, though? Uh, for me, I think, it, for, l- listen, he's probably come in more often than more likely with a promise of a budget for January. Yeah. Like we said, he's got the, the, the players that were on poor form playing well. Deli Ali against Liverpool, best mm. I've seen him for, for a couple of years at least. He yeah, was he outstanding well. and he didn't get into the, the starting lineup yesterday. So, But I think they need to sort the defence out. I think Eric Dyer's looking like a different player. Mm. I think uh, Davinson Sanchez as well looks like a different player. But I still think they need more. Up top, you can you can say, will they sign someone? Harry Kane, will, it, will he eventually go? The problem with Harry and Harry Kane is you struggle to sign another centre-forward because mm-hmm. they know they're coming yeah. as a number two yeah. centre-forward. But, but the thing is, what I've liked is... Um, you know, when Son plays up there, we still look amazing. Yeah. You got Bergvine and then then goes into Son's position. I think the, the the massive plus point for Spurs this season so far is Lucas Mora. Yeah, because that was a position that you'd say probably need to strengthen there that right wing position, get someone better. But yep. Lucas Mora has been he's been yeah, excellent. He's been, excellent. You know, he's been so what good. About, what about a midfielder that can come yeah, in with I, a chip in with a goal? I think because it, I you think look at Skip and you look at Winks and you look at obviously Hoiberg. You know. It does feel for me if they added someone who could get five plus goals a season. Yeah, if you, I, I think if you look at centre midfield, you know Hoiberg, Skip, they're d- defensive. Winks yeah. is a ball playing midfielder, yeah. but they're sort of very sort of you're holding. And Don Bele is looks yeah, like he I, could do it. But. I'm, I'm, he's not for me. And Don Bele, I don't, I don't think he's good enough to play in this this Spurs side. He's not fit enough to play in it. I don't think he has the the capacity. Yeah. That match, I, I, I don't think. However much you run him. I just don't think he's going to have the fitness capacity, no, I agree. capacity to get he's in the side. He's not that type of player. He's is just he? not that type of player. Yeah. He's the sort of he's a drifter. If you get you know, Delhi back, though, he's a maverick. If you get yeah. Delhi back to how he was, okay, he's not going to be the the deep lion midfielder, but he could be a midfielder that arrives into if, the box and yeah, scores goals. If they can get, say, a, a, a midfielder that can do, you know. A bit of everything, yeah. you know, that sort of box to box, chips in with goals, can defend, fitness, gets around the park, can dictate the play. Problem is, you're talking about a midfielder <laughs> like that, you're talking sort of 100 million quid, yeah. aren't you? Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10, on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.